Welcome to Make It Artsy. I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, your host. This season is all about time, and we've mostly concentrated on linear projects. And today, we move to 3D designs like these super cool bowls. So it's all going to start with a very simple kind of material called cork fabric. And that's what I have here on my mat. So I'm just gonna close up my garage door here and load that into the electronic cutter. Now, to get my cut file, I'm simply gonna go on my phone and then just send it over to the machine. And then I can hit retrieve data and grab my cut file. So I can see it on the screen, say okay, and now let's cut it out. Okay, so now while that's cutting, let's talk about cork fabric, which is super cool stuff. So as you can see, it comes in a variety of different sort of finishes, I guess you would say. Some of it looks very, very, very much like the traditional cork board you might be used to, but it has a magical secret which is it is soft like fabric. It does not crumble. It is amazingly cool stuff. So some of it has um, kind of a woven texture, but it is, it's fabric. And you can absolutely and completely sew through it, which I love, which is how we made these bowls. And one of the other things that I like to do is to use something that looks a little more cork on the inside and then something that looks a little more fabric on the outside so that you really have that kind of two-sided effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out and just see our little pattern here. Let's get that out. And you can see it looks like a big old flower is what we have here. And the pattern will be up on the Make It Artsy website. So I have my big flower. I'm gonna pull it off the mat. This is a sticky mat, so you gotta get in there. And once I have it off, we are ready to head over to the sewing machine. So the only thing that you really need to know is that your sewing machine has to have a zigzag stitch because what we're gonna do is sew down each of these petals. So I place it under the presser foot, either side can be down at the base sort of of the pedal, step on my pedal, and then I'm gonna push the two sides together as I stitch so that what essentially that zigzag stitch is doing is stitching together the entire seam. And it doesn't take long, you don't have to think about it, the feed dogs on your sewing machine are just gonna grab it, and when you reach the end, you're just gonna stop, bring your needle up, raise your presser foot and trim off the excess thread. And you can see what has happened is that it is just connecting these two parts, right? So when I have stitched a lot, it starts to curve like a bowl, which is really super cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off this last seam and again, start to sew. And I'm just gently again, holding together that seam so that the zigzag stitch is catching it so that it will cup and form that bowl shape. When I'm done, I can raise up the needle, raise the presser foot, cut it, and now I have this really cool bowl shape. So now this bowl is reversible, and the reason that's important is because I actually am gonna take two bowls, okay, and put them wrong sides together. And again, I'm using two different cork fabrics because I like the way that looks. The next thing is I want to make sure to change my stitch length so that instead of a wide zigzag, I'm actually getting a little narrow satin stitch. And that's how we're going to essentially attach these two parts along with finishing them off. So I'm going to drop the presser foot, and here we go. Now, the trick to doing this is not to get pushy. Let the machine do the work. Let the feed dogs take the bowls. And just sort of relax and slowly rotate through. Now, if you run into any like loose threads or anything, just kind of pull at them and then keep going. So I like to do this in like little pieces and slowly and 
and just relax into it. Now, I actually have gone around some of the bowls two, three times to finish them off. You do not have to do it all in one pass, so don't worry about it if it's slightly uneven because this is super duper forgiving to do. So I'm just gonna take it out of the machine and when it's all done, let me show you what it looks like. So you can see right here that I have matched the thread that's going around the top with the satin stitch to the cork fabric that's here. And this is a really fun trick. Notice how the stitching here is red, but the stitching in here is gray so that it kind of matches. And that's because of course we sewed them separately so it doesn't really matter. As a last finishing touch, one of the things I like to do is add just a little bit more embellishment to it because people are always surprised when they look at what they think is cork and then it turns out to be super flexible. So I'm gonna go ahead and load in another piece of cork fabric. And then I'm just gonna choose a design. So, you know, you could do maybe wine glass little ringlet things so that everybody knows which wine glass is theirs. You could do place cards this way. Whatever kind of embellishment strikes your fancy. For me, I think I'm gonna go with a leaf, which I think is really pretty, customize it. And I might actually add a couple of them. Let's have three leaves so that I can really embellish my bowl. I wanna make sure that they're all gonna cut. So I'm just gonna scan in the fabric since it doesn't take up the entire size of the mat. I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna actually cut through the mat. So I'm just gonna take a peek at it and make sure everything is lined up. But you know, this is the kind of thing you could also do with a stencil. You could do it really easily freehand. You could add somebody's name to the bowl to make it really special and then just stitch it on. So I can see it here on the screen. Everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and choose cut and press start. So while that's finishing up, let me just show you a couple differences here between some of the bowls. So it's not just size, because of course you can make it any size that you want, it's also the finish. This one, for instance, you can see, has the sort of cork look in it. This one is still cork, but it doesn't quite look like it. People might actually pick it up and think that it feels like leather. Now, one of the things I like about this tiny bowl is that it's nice and soft and fuzzy inside because we didn't line it with a second bowl. It's only one side, just cupped around, and of course, fully reversible, which is super duper cool too.